This is Marie Micaela S. Hermanes, a Vika Eduane student at Eastern Visayas State University. For today's vlog, is we are going to talk about the principles of training. In order to get most out of your training, you need to apply these key principles of training. So, our first principle of training is individuality. People respond to training differently, and this principle dictates that no two individuals will benefit from exercise the same way physically and psychologically. For example, a group of athletes follow the same well-designed program, yet after completing it, the individual training response will differ greatly among the athletes. Different factors such as genetic ability, predominance of muscle fiber types, athletic age, and mental type affects training. The second principle is specificity. This principle requires the athletes to train specifically to the energy system and skill requirements needed for their sport. For example, a long distance cycler. This means training for a longer period of time with no breaks and focusing on muscular endurance. The third principle is progression. This principle states that as your body adapts to your exercise routine, you need to change it up. This can mean gradually increasing the weight, duration, or intensity of your weight training in order to see growth. The fourth principle is overload. To increase strength and endurance, no resistance is needed or time and effort intensity. Simply put, it says that you have to increase the intensity, duration, type, or time of a workout progressively in order to see adaptations. An example of this is one that prescribes squatting a prescribed weight for 5 sets for one week, moving to squatting a slightly heavier load for 5 sets the next week, and progressively increasing the loads each subsequent week. The fifth is adaptation. The body becomes accustomed to exercising at a given level. Repeatedly practicing a skill or activity makes it second nature and easier to perform. An example of this would be a beginner exercisers. They tend to be feeling achy and sore, which is normal because their body is not used to it. But once they repeatedly do the exercise, their body will adjust to a new activity level and they will get used to it. The sixth principle is the body needs rest to recover itself. This principle dictates that athletes need adequate time to recover from training and competition. For example, you train for your upcoming competition. You need rest for you to recover your energy. The last principle is reversibility. The reversibility principle states that when you stop working out, you lose the effects of training. So that's all the principles of training. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from me and thank you for watching.